thousand pound for the Anne Frank experience. Sign me up. The Edinburgh Fringe, known for many things, including student drama groups, broken dreams, and above all, expensive accommodation. You'd think, given we're a year into a pandemic and a 2021 festival looks increasingly less likely, that short-term letting agents would have reduced their prices. No, 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 no. In a normal year, flat rental during August is a seller's market, as thousands of performers, industry professionals, here represented by a stock video of a man on a phone, and student reviewers, here represented by a pile of dinosaur crap, flock to the city. But much like the venues, not everywhere is worth renting. So I've browsed all the places you can rent that are overpriced and underwhelming at the Edinburgh Festival. We're talking central, one bedroom, because in my experience, nobody's getting laid, and between 500 and a million pounds. We're just not putting an upper limit on it. Flat one, a thousand pounds. That's a chunk of change. Any other city, you'd expect quite a bit for that money. I could buy 160 kilograms of Toblerone for that kind of money. That's my reference point for any purchase. Before I put the heating on, I ask myself, do I want to be warm or do I want to be uncomfortably full? And the answer almost inevitably is, give me that Tobes. Tobes. That's not a thing. Who's ever called it a Tobes? Not the greatest first impression. Thousand pound for the Anne Frank experience. Sign me up. The bedroom looks nice. It's just, it's in an attic. Also clean up your crap. Why would you leave that on the bed? Jacket, deodorant. Little dog. I'm on board with the dog, actually. It's quite cute. At least make an effort. I don't buy. You couldn't have just bundled that all together and chucked it under the bed like we all do when our mums are coming round. As you take this photo on an iPhone 3. You can clean this up in Photoshop in seconds. And it's gone. I'll do it again. And it's less gone, granted, but it looks better. Flat two, 800 pounds, one bed, one and a half bathroom. If you're gonna advertise a flat, maybe, don't use blurry images. And I say this as someone who's never rented out a flat before. And maybe make sure there's some detail in it. What am I meant to get from that? Seriously, there's a bed and a window? Uh, what's the description? The ROM, ROM, not a great start. The ROM is very bright and airy and looks onto landscape gardens. The area itself, 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 isn't itself one word. I shouldn't really criticize other people's spelling when I'm basically illiterate. Nope, I was right. Let's read a review. My room, you mean ROM, my ROM was dim and dingy. What did you expect from that photo? The room, you mean ROM, let me just change that for you. The ROM wasn't the one pictured in the listing. How can you tell? I'm loving this. I ordered a horse shit sandwich and it didn't come from the exact horse I ordered it from on the takeaway menu. Flat three, what are we guessing? Higher, lower, higher? 800 lower. Higher! Of course it's higher. The stakes have to increase as we go through the video. 1200 for the month, one bedroom. Kitchen. <laughs> I mean, technically that is a kitchen. Why does every landlord upload their photos in portrait mode? You're selling a flat, not making a TikTok. Turn your fucking phone round. The, descri the description says, a must see. I'd like to, but you're being a real tease with this. Flat four, 1250 pounds for the month. Starting to get into the big bucks now. Let's see if this one is worth 50 pounds more. Spacious living room, reading area, and a single bed close to the city. That is a child's bunk bed. And from that shot, I can't tell if the ceiling is high enough that I can fit into it. Ironically, this is the one time where a portrait photo would have been helpful. I like how, I like how you've got two chairs one facing the desk and one facing away, as if like one's for work and one's for play. I'm a poet and I never was aware of that fact. There's a plant in the corner. I suppose that qualifies as a garden. That's not a spacious living room. I don't want to come off as some sort of bourgeois prick, which is difficult when you're using the word bourgeois. For 1200 pounds a month, I want something a bit bigger than a living room I can touch both sides of. And those mirrors are not fooling anyone. They don't make the place look any bigger. Flat five, 1300 pound, one bed for the month. Again, that's a little blurry, but what I can make out is a bunk bed. Don't try and dress that up as a mezzanine floor. Unique living space, which it is in the sense that you're renting a bunk bed to an adult. Mezzanine platform double bed with sufficient headroom to sit up. Right, it's not a mezzanine. I don't know who's told you that's a mezzanine, it's not. Unless this is being rented out by Darren Brown, your Jedi mind tricks will not work on me. Has that got enough room for me to sit up? I'm six foot, ladies. I'm pretty sure I couldn't fit into that. Again, blurry image, well-equipped and practical kitchen with unfettered, unfettered? What does unfettered mean? Unrestrained or uninhibited. Yeah, that's the word I'd use. Access to the free spice rack. <laughs> Access to the free spice rack, what a treat. Mr. Ambassador, you are really know how to spoil us. Fucking bad French accent. <laughs> if you're French and watching this, I can only apologize. Which I won't do because I'm English.